Hello everyone again, I'm Tom Charles, and we have a second presentation, which is going to be done by Flavia Renata Ferrara. And Flavia Ferrara is a geoscience analyst of the Geological Survey of Brazil. She works in the Data Science Research Group, where she researches new technologies. She has a PhD in geospatial information from the Polytechnic School of the University of Sao Paulo. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let us look at and um, let us enjoy the presentation by Flavia. It's titled Portability of Cartographic Symbols Library for Open Standards. Hello, my name is Flavia Ferreira. I am a geoscience analyst at the Geological Survey of Brazil, and I'm going to present the work entitled Portability of Cartographic Symbols Library for Open Standards. The presentation is structured as follows. First, I will talk about fundamental issues then I will talk about research questions, in particular about the symbols of paleonto paleontology used in the Geological Survey of Brazil, after about results of the methodology, and finally discussions and conclusions. The world is undergoing major structural changes driven by viable technologies. One of the biggest changes observed in the last two decades is the adoption of free software and open data standards in both private and public companies. This provides sumptuous savings in commercial software license and technological independence from large holdings. The strongest concept regarding the organizational environment in the 21st century is collaboration. Collaborative work is the main motivation for developers to create free and open technologies that can be used and improved by users from all over the world, promoting the expansion of knowledge. By adopting free and open technologies, the methodology is no longer restricted to the purchasing power of a technological research. It becomes public and can be used without technological barriers. These are the norms and standards adopted in this work. The Geological Survey of Brazil is restructuring to meet the W3C open standards and the use of the open source software in geospatial work processes. Among the actions taken, a geoservices infrastructure is being built, which will provide geospatial data, map services and metadata according to OGC specifications. Geological Survey of Brazil maintains its symbols libraries to be used in geological mapping work currently in bitmap format and adapted for the S3 platform. The symbolization employed by the Geological Survey of Brazil uses symbols classified as pictorial, geometric, and associative. Pictorial symbols are characterized by a direct connection with the type of phenomenon represented. They can be simple, complex, or stylized and must always be highly effective in communication. Geometric symbols have no shape association with the represented phenomenon using geometric shapes such as circle, triangle, rectangle, rectangle, star, among others. 
Associative symbols employ a combination of geometric and pictorial to produce identifiable symbols. Vector images like SVG are derived from mathematical expressions and therefore do not lose definition when their size is increased. Bitmap type of representation has presented anti-aliasing problems when adapted to larger scales, in addition to not being suitable for the presentation of maps on the web, according to OGC specifications. This method can be used in any other type of symbol library. Symbols which in Geological Survey of Brazil were almost exclusively in the ASCII standard were converted one by one to SVG format. This step can be performed using free, free software such as Inkscape or GIMP. Each symbol in SVG format was imported as a specific type of drawing in the FontForge font editor and associated with the character code. It may be necessary to edit the design for its perfect visualization, visualization in graphics software. This is easily accomplished in Inkscape software. With the font file compiled in the FontForge software containing the entire symbol library, it's possible to install it on the Windows operating systems system and view each of the font symbols in any GIS software. This slide shows an example of a font draw in a font file with baseline width and offsets. Each glyph was associated with a character code and the team group produced a font file. The result consisted of producing a set of 61 paleontology symbols glyphs in SVG format. These glyphs have been grouped into open type font files. The open type standard is used on major computer platforms due to its wide availability and typographic flexibility, including provisions to handle the diverse characteristics of our writing systems in the world, the need to develop the font construction technique is due to improve the typographic quality of cartographic representations and make the library compatible with the main GIS softwares. This is the visualization of the symbol before and after editing in Inkscape software as an example. The advantage of using the SVG standard to represent cartographic symbols is that instead of defining symbols through columns and rows of pixels as in raster format, SVG uses vector graphics consisting of geometric, geometric primitives such as points, lines, curves, and polygons. Vector images do not lose definition when their size is increased. Another advantage of SVG is that that is a text file and has an excellent compression factor. To facilitate content management, symbols will be maintained in version control repository github.com slash nds dash cprm slash geoscientific dash symbolization. The adopted method proved to be applicable to any library of cartographic symbols with good results. Rendering tests across platforms, web or desktop, 
showed no noticeable difference. The typographic quality of cartographic representations improved and the library became, became compatible with the domain GIS software in the industry. One of the most important aspects of the method presented in this work was to make the cartographic symbol library public and open for use by the geo geoscientific community, regardless of whether an open source or proprietary platform is used. And with this geological survey of Brazil, we'll be able to distribute geological symbology standards as defined by open data. That brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. If anyone has any question about anything we discussed here, feel free to send me an email flavia.ferreira at cbrm.gov.br Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Flavia, for that wonderful presentation. It was very interesting and we learned about these sim symbologists and sometimes symbologists can be um, a bit of an issue in the, the in, in visualization process. Um, however, Flavia, I would like to ask this one question. I'd like to ask this one question, um, which is, is it possible to use a font file in any QGIS software hello hello tommy hello everyone yeah it's possible to use a, a font file in any 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 uh, operation system i used it in windows but it's possible in another one Okay, thank you very much, Flavia, for that update. So we we move ahead now. Um, our next speaker is um, Lorenzo Stucci, um, who is a PhD student at Politecnico de Milano and Reisela Sul Sistema Energico, ISPSP. Um, he is also an open street map contributor since 2016, and he serves as the national coordinator of OpenStreetMap in Wikimedia Italia, a local chapter of the OpenStreetMap Foundation. He is also a founder and officer of Polymapers, the youth mapper chapter at Polytechnico de Milano. So um, ladies and gentlemen, I would like um, to add um, Lorenzo to the, the street now. Hello, everyone. Uh, should we start or we can wait? Because I see that it's a bit uh, early. It's almost 15 minutes before 7. So maybe we can, I don't know. Let me know, Tommy. We'll have to wait for a while until um, it's um, 1700 GMT and then we'll take it from there. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, according to the chat in Venilis, there seems to be a question for Renata, who had, had a previous um, presentation. Can you please shoot up your question so I can um, relate them to, them, to, to her? Tommy, uh, excuse me, I, I didn't understand. There are some individuals that want to ask you a question. So you have to hang around. Let's see when their questions come. Oh, let me see, please. Um, 
is is the first one uh, can you put the question in the in the screen for me please I'll do as they come in. I'll, I will send the questions as they come in, but I'm, I can't see any from one of our, our, our participants. So Flavia, the question says, Flavia, the question says, how did you decide on what encoding to give each symbol? Oh, thank you. I'm reading here. How uh, we decide on what encoding to give each symbol? Uh, these symbols are used for the USGS uh, and uh, for another surveys, a geological surveys, and um, uh, and the encoding uh, is about the um, the position, the position uh, in each each symbol in the font file. The position has a, a value, uh, um, a Unicode value. This uh, so this this code is the the name of the the file in the GitHub repository. It's about the position. Um, okay, I think thank you. another one. Okay. Another question. Please check in the chat section. What what the question? It says, have you had any experience to embed those symbols on OGC's SLD? Uh, an experience to embed those symbols? No, no, not yet, because this is a new project, so uh, I'm not I'm not to uh, have the, an experience yet. Another question? Yes, um, it says there are uh, one open symbol project named Geologic Symbols QGIS. Have you think of collaborating with them? Not yet, not yet. But uh, uh, we will do it uh, uh, soon. We will pro pro uh, pro 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 we we will look for to propose the use of these symbols, this methodology to the uh, geologic survey. Uh, the, the question uh, says, uh, have you think to collaborate with them? Uh, yes, we, we want to collaborate with them, with the project geologic symbol key key GIS. Next question. Um, Flavia, I think that was the last question. Now we, we move right to the next speaker. Thank you very much. That was thoughtful of you to answer the questions and it was a thorough presentation.
you are highly appreciated. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So um, our next presentation is by Lorenzo Stucci, who is a PhD student at Politecnico de Milano and Resera Sul Sistema Energico, RSCSPA. And he is also an open map he has been an open map contributor since 2016. He is the national coordinator for OpenStreetMap in Wikimedia.